is Zangpo and welcome to Do You Know Your Child? I'm your host, Choni. Families are much more than just groups of individuals living together. Family is not just about the people. It's more about the feeling of security, love, comfort, and happiness. Every child and adult should feel that he or she is special and be encouraged to pursue his or her own dreams. And family serves as the prime support system for that. Let's check up on how our last week's guests are doing. Well, actually, last week I promised to interact more with my daughter so that I know her more. And now we are playing more. We are actually we play basketball together. We talk to each other more. We tell stories about each other. Not to say that we didn't interact more before. But of course I know now the color of eyes. It's not black, it's brown. So I hope she knows the same. Last week I promised to spend more time with my father and talk more. Now we play basketball together, we play games, we read books together. And my father knows my eyes color. It is not black, it is brown. And I know my father's eyes color too. It is brown. Family provides guidance on personal values and social behavior to all its members. It disciplines and helps them learn and internalize codes of conduct that will serve them in future. It's the first place where a child learns how to behave, which is why parents play a crucial role in training the child for the future. Let's see which family we have today. I'm Nima Zam and uh, this is uh, my two sons. This is uh, Gelwa. He is almost five now. Say hi, Gelwa. Hi. And uh, this one is Sonamoshu. He is eight years old now. He'll be turning nine this January. Say hello to everyone, Sonamoshu. Hello. The wolf lay as if dead, and his mate went to ask the goat for help to bury him. The goat said, how can I trust you? My family and friends have been your meal. The hungry wolf raised his head. Seeing this, the goat ran back to her cave. Now the wolves thought of another trick. The wolf went to the goat and said, You have given my mate a new life. Seeing you, he felt better. He wants to meet you and thank you. Let us be friends and live in peace. She replied, Certainly, we will be friends. Let me call my other friends. The two hounds, Old Grey and Young Tan, and that big dog, Four Eyes, with their mates, answered the Answered whom? The goat. The goat, yes. The wolf waited to hear no more. She turned and ran back to her mate and the goat never saw either of them again. Sanj, what did you do in school today? I played with my friends. What did you play? Football. Football? Then how was your class today? Nice. You didn't get soda from your teachers today? No. Were you a good boy? It's really wonderful to be a mother and it's something that I think uh, women should not miss out on you know no matter how busy and how career oriented you are because it's uh, something that nothing can replace. This feeling of being a mother is uh, wonderful and everybody should experience it, you know. Not everybody is born as women. So I think we should experience it. Like, of course there are challenges of becoming a mother, but uh, nothing compares to the joy you feel when you see your children grow. So it's a wonderful feeling. Today we have Miss Nimazam and her son Sonam Wangchuk Totke. Welcome to our show. Do you know your child? Well, I hope so. How do you make sure you are updated with um, your son's um, likes, dislikes? His Well, um, we do a lot of things together mm -hmm. and uh, we spend a lot of time together. So I feel I do know him a lot. Mm -hmm. And you have two sons, Mula. Yes, we do. And um, how is it difficult to bring up sons? It is definitely much more challenging than bringing up daughters, I mm -hmm. think and uh, they really need a lot of your time mm -hmm. and patience 
So, but we manage it anyways. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful boys, both of them. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like as a working mother, yeah. do you feel like you can do it alone? Or do you ever feel like you need someone to look after them? Or especially when you're at um, office uh, working and they're at home. Yeah, we are lucky to have someone. Mm -hmm. One of my uh, uh, cousins, she looks after them when I'm at work. Mm -hmm. So we're lucky to have her to look after them. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, let me um, ask you another question. What is the one most challenging thing about having boys? I think the most challenging them with, uh, with them is keeping up with their sports uh, likes. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not a very sports-loving kind of person. Mm -hmm. So it's quite difficult to be really engaging in that manner. Yeah. I can just watch them, but not really get involved. What do you do to cover up for that? <laughs> well, not much, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, I try to be there for them if they have some major sporting events mm -hmm. or sometimes spend a little time in front of the TV watching some matches together. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. I think it's quite difficult to really participate mm -hmm. in the sports that they like. They love football mm -hmm. and uh, games which are not really something that uh, I play. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, all right. And now, do you ever feel like um, when there are situations where you can fully support them, for example, in sports? You can yes. only support them, but uh, <laughs> yeah. not be actively participating yes. with them. Do you ever feel like uh, there's a lack, mm -mm. there's a space, there's a gap between uh, a mother and her sons? Or do you feel like that's normal? Well, I guess it's normal. They accept it. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, at the same time, they, uh, their father, they, he really loves sports. Mm -hmm. So he is there for them, especially for sports and football. I see, okay. Yeah, so he fills up the gap for them. All right. It seems like there's more boys in the family than you're the only <laughs> person. I'm outnumbered. Okay, you're outnumbered, well, definitely. Um, do you ever feel like that is a problem? I guess uh, not really, mm -hmm. uh, because the two of us, uh, my ex-husband and two of us, we are not together anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, just the two boys and myself, uh, we live together right mm -hmm. now. And uh, he sorts of uh, fills up uh, all the sporting requirements mm -hmm. for my sons, basically. So he's there for them over the weekends to take them out. And He's still there? Yeah, he's very much there okay. for them. So. I guess like they really don't miss out on that. And they just love being me, like, you know, just enjoying being me with uh, things that I do for them, okay. basically reading and talking. Mm -hmm. That's All what right. we do a lot together. Let me explain to you the rules. They're very simple. I'll ask you 10 questions about your son. And later on, I'll have your son come over and I'll, I'll ask the same 10 questions and we'll tally the answers and that'll be your score. All right? Okay. Okay, if you have any questions, you can ask as we go on. Okay. All right? For now, let's just jump into the questions. Are you ready? Um, okay. Okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> These are very simple questions, let me assure you that. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, question number one for you. Would your son know what the national bird of Bhutan is? Yes, he does. Okay, all right. Question number two. What does your son miss the most about school when he's on vacation? His friends. Okay. Number three. Do you let him eat what he wants to eat or do you maintain his diet? Um, it's actually quite difficult to get him eating, mm -hmm. you know, he has a lot of food that he does not want to eat. Okay. Yeah, but I like him to try as much as possible. So it's a little bit of both. Yeah. You let him have, um, what Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, I have certain rules, like, for example, he's not allowed to eat pork. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the only rule I have for him uh -huh. when it comes to food. But what if he says he wants junk food throughout, well, what, what's your say in that? Not too much of it. Okay, not so the 50-50, yeah. all yes. right. Question number four, is he a fast? An active learner or a slow one? He is a slow learner. Okay, he's a slower learner. Mm. All right. Number five, how many times do you take your son for medical checkup in a year, let's say? Um, at least twice a year. Twice a year, all right. Um, question number six, any bad habits of your son that annoys you the most? He does not enjoy reading. Question number seven, would your son rather watch TV or go out for a picnic with the whole family? Mm, definitely picnic. Okay. Question number eight. Do you carry a photo of your son in your wallet? I do. Okay. Actually. Do you have your wallet with yeah. you right now? Yeah, okay, it's can here. Can take a look? Yeah, the two of them. Oh, okay. And this is the youngest one? Yes. This Where does it go? Perkilosa. Okay, all right. Great. All right. You got your proof with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's move on to question number nine. Does your son know where you work? Yes, he does. And does he know your designation? Uh, the current one, I think he does not know. 
you've just moved? I've just moved to a new uh, profession and in the same organization, yeah. Okay, so he knows your previous yeah, um, he does. designation. And what, yeah. what is that? Uh, I think he'll basically say that uh, I work at BBS mm -hmm. and uh, I read news. That's okay. all he's going to say, I think. Okay, all That's right. That's what he tells people. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> question number 10. This is your final question. What gift would your son love to receive? He loves uh, cars. Cars, okay, yes. all right, toy cars. Yeah, toy cars. Toy cars, of yes. course. For now, let's stick <laughs> with toy cars. <laughs> all right, okay, you've finished with all the 10 questions. Um, how do you feel? I don't know how to react though. You know what, um, I'm going to have your son come over right now. Okay. And then he'll answer all the 10 questions in front of you. So you'll have a pretty good idea of how much you scored after okay. that. Okay. Okay. You yeah. ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> We've just finished talking with the mom. Now we have the son with us. Hello, Sonomancho. Hello. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes. Please go ahead. My name is Sonomancho. I, I studied in Duke School. Mm -hmm. I'm eight years old and I'm and I'm in class 3A. What is the one thing you really like about going to school? My friends. You love your friends? Yes. Do you have a lot of best friends? Yes. Who are your best friends? Damiang, Rafsel, Shiba, uh -huh. Jambe, and Pema. Okay, do you want to say hi to them? Hi, best friends. Very good, they'll love this. Okay, what is the one thing you don't like about school? Mm -hmm. When I'm school. Okay. Is there a lot of scolding going on? Yes. Okay, all right. Do you think it's, it's bad to get scolded or is it something that is, you learn something from scolding? Do you learn something? Yes. Okay, all right. So you know it's educational, right? Well, Sunamoncho, I have just asked your mom 10 questions about you, okay? And now it's your turn to answer. Doop. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, should I ask you? Yes. Here's your first question. What is the national bird of Bhutan? Raven. Raven, okay. Question number two. What do you miss the most about school when you are on vacation? When you are on break, okay? Let's say you're on a long winter, winter break, all right? Um, what do you miss? Friends. You miss friends, all right? Number three. Does mommy let you eat what you want to eat or does she try and tell you what to eat? She try and tell me. And do you listen to her all the time? No. Okay. So sometimes you eat what you want to eat. Yes. But sometimes she tells you. Yes. Okay, all right. Do you like that? Uh, yes. All right, okay. What, what are some things that she wants you to eat? Vegetables. Do you like vegetables? No. <laughs> what do you like? I like meat. You like meat? What kind, what's your favorite meat? Chicken. Chicken, all right. That's a good meat though, right? It's a good white meat. All right, question number four. Are you a fast and active learner or are you a slow learner? I'm a slow learner. Okay. How do you know you are a slow learner? I know by scolding from the man. <laughs> okay, you know because you get told... Um, from the man. Okay, by your teachers. And does your mom tell you anything? Yes. Okay, who helps you do your homework at home? My mom. Okay, so that's when you get to learn that yes. you might be a little slower, right? Yes. But that's not a bad thing, huh? I hope you know that. Do you yes. know that? Yes. As long as you learn, I think that's, that counts. Whether you are slow or a fast learner, as long as you learn, that's the point, right? Yes. Okay, good. Question number five. How many times do you go for a medical checkup in a year? One time. One time. Okay, all right. Who takes you? My mother or my father. Question number six. Do you have any bad habits that you're... Uh, I'm sure you have a lot. <laughs> you started thinking. <laughs> All right. Um, do you have a particular bad habit that, you're, that really annoys your mom? Yes. What is that? By being lazy. So you're, you think you're lazy? Yeah. Why do you think you're lazy? You're young right now. You should be active, running about, doing things. From the school, I all sleep. Okay, right after school, you sleep. Yes. Right? You think that, that, that would bug mommy? Yes, she always wakes up. She always wakes you up. All right, okay. Question number seven. Would you rather watch TV or go for a picnic with your family? When my mom said, let's go for a picnic, go. If your mom says, um, Sonam wants you, do you want to watch TV or go for a picnic, which one would you choose? Go for a picnic. Okay, all right. Do you like being outside? Yes. Okay, good. Question number eight. Do you think your mom has your picture in her wallet. Yes. Okay. All right. Are you sure? 
Yes. You sure? Yeah. Okay, are you very sure? <laughs> Question number nine. Do you know where your mommy works? In BBS. Okay. What is her position? I mean, what does she do in BBS? On first time, she reports news. Okay. Now she... Now I don't know what she do. Okay, she reports news. All right. Question number 10. What is the one gift you would love to receive? A clothes. Clothes. All right. Okay. You like clothes? Uh, golden toys. Toys. What kind of toys do you like? Uh, I like cars. Cars. Okay. All right. When's your birthday? January 18th. Okay. Your mommy says. Okay. So now you can pick from the two. Would you like a car or some clothes? What would you pick? Car. Car. Why do you like cars? You can't even drive them. Because I can play them. You can play with them. All right. Okay. Well, you've finished all the 10 questions in here. Congratulations. You've answered all very well. All right? Good for you. And you look very relaxed. <laughs> Are you nervous or relaxed? Relaxed. There you go. You're very relaxed. Okay. You know what's next? Have you watched the show before? Yes. Okay. So what comes after, after all the questions, what's, what's the next segment? Mm, I don't know. Okay. I'll help you here. We're going to take a look at the scores. All right? <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Would your son know what the national bird of Bhutan is? Yes, he does. Raven. What does your son miss the most about school when he's on vacation? His friends. My friends. Do you let him eat what he wants to eat or do you maintain his diet? Just 50 50. She try and tell me. Is he a fast and active learner or a slow one? A slow learner. I'm a slow learner. How many times do you take your son for a medical checkup in a year, let's say? At least twice a year. One time. Any bad habits of your son that annoys you the most? He does not enjoy reading. From the school, I all sleep. Would your son rather watch TV or go out for a picnic with the whole family? Picnic. Go for a picnic. Do you carry a photo of your son in your wallet? I do. Yes. Does your son know where you work? Yes, he does. In BBS. What gift would your son love to receive? Toy cars. Cars. All right, we now have the scores and your mom has scored eight out of 10. Is that a good score? Yes. Okay, congratulations, mommy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's look at the questions that your mommy could not answer, all right? The first question was, how many times do you take your son for a medical checkup? And your mom said twice a year, and you said once a year. So who's right here? I think me. You're right. <laughs> Is he right? I think because uh, he, uh, just once a year, we have to take him several times sometimes. I see, okay. When he's not well. Okay. But so like, uh, I meant uh, mostly to do with regular checkups. Regular, okay. Yeah, so regular checkups, we go at least twice a year. Twice a year, yeah. okay. All right, so the difference is, I think you were thinking when you're sick and all that, right? But your mom's thinking about regular checkups. You don't have to be sick for that, all right? Mm. You just go through a thorough checkup. Oop. The other question your mom wasn't able to answer is number six, which is um, some bad habits that your mom gets annoyed with. And um, you said, what did you say? What was your answer? Sleeping habits, right? Yes. You said you're, you sleep a lot during the daytime. And your mom said, you don't read as much. Is that true? Yeah. Why do you not like to read? Because my horse, horse, horse is reading. Okay, you um, are not good at reading? Yes. I'm trying to say that? Okay. But that, that is only because you don't read. Yes. See, it's a cycle. If you don't read, you're not going to be good at it. Uh, if you're not good, you're not going to read. Uh, right? 
So you have to break that cycle by starting to read. You can start reading with um, just simple word books, right? Like APPLE, Apple books. I know you are in third standard, but still, you can start from the bottom and go up, all right? I think you should start reading maybe, okay? Because it's a really okay. interesting habit. Okay. You get to learn about everything. You said you like uh, cars, right? Yeah. So if you read, you can uh, read about cars, how they're made, okay? Okay. Um, so those are the two questions your mom wasn't able to answer, but she did really well, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're both happy with the score? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Now, let's go to our next segment, which is with love. Okay, we'll start with you. So, your mom has written a letter for you, so, and she's going to start with hers. So. Okay. This is my letter for Sonamonchu. Well, Sonamonchu, I want to tell you that uh, Amma is extremely lucky to have you. And I'm sorry for being tough sometimes, uh, but you should know that I love you so much, and uh, you and your brother mean the world to me. What's your reaction? <laughs> Thank you very much for your letter. Um, now, Sonam Wanchu has also written a letter for you, uh, you, and he's given it to me. He wanted me to read it, right? Okay. Are you ready? Yes. All right. It says, Dearest Mom, I'm glad to have you as my mom. I love you so much from my heart. You are the best mom forever. Thank you. Love you, Sonam Wanchu. Thank you so much. Did you write this yourself? Yes. Okay, all right, very good. That's very sweet. Um, we do this segment because we realize that mm. written words are very expressive than uh, spoken words, at least in our culture. We, very, we say very less about yeah. the people we love. But write, write, when we write, we're very poetic and very romantic, right? I thought that was a very romantic letter to your mom. I think I would like to get more involved, mm -hmm. especially with their sports. Okay, all right. That's, yeah, that's an area that uh, I'm trying very hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure they would enjoy it also if I really play with them, which I don't do, right? But some kids get embarrassed, huh? <laughs> would you love your mom to be with you when, um, like, play with you? Would yes. you love that? Yes. All right, that's He really very likes nice. it, actually. And I am actually going to take a step and have his commitment made for him. Okay. He's going to read. That's your commitment, okay? Because that is a very, 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 very crucial habit, okay? Reading is very addictive and it's very good. It's a good addiction, okay? You just have to start and then after, after a while, you'd want to read more and more and more, okay? So this is going to be his commitment. Are you okay with it? Do you think you can do that? Very good. All right. And both of you, good luck with your commitments. And with this, I have a little gift for you. It's actually from... Titan. Titan. Okay, you know it. All right. Do you want to open this, please? What is that? What is it? He's reading the text. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to read it. <laughs> I think it's 160. I'm going to make sure. 160. 160? What is 160? <laughs> <laughs> the shorthand is at six, right? But it, it is a really complicated watch. Um, but it's very fancy. It's from Fast Track, all right? Um, I would say it's six five, all right? Okay. But you're very close, though. He got a little confused between the long hand and the short, short hand, hand, but um, that's very reasonable. So that will be the watch that will teach you how to read time, okay? All right. Put that to good use, okay? <laughs> all right, with this... Thank you very much. I really appreciate you taking out the time to come here. And um, thank you so much again. I hope you had fun. Did you? Yes. And did you? Yeah, we did. All right. Thank you. Mutual affection and distribution of responsibilities in the family are some things that strengthen interpersonal relationship between family members. In this respect, it is wise to share not only the responsibilities, but the rewards too. For example, in addition to sharing cooking time with your family, rewarding yourself with a good family meal time, whereby all the family members sit down together to eat is a perfect example of sharing the reward. This brings the family together, allowing plethora of time to communicate and find out more about each other. Come back next week and if you'd like to be a part of the show or if you have any feedback, do email us at parenting at bbs.bt. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.